Okay, uh, kita mulalah. Uh, kalau ingat ada apa-apa soalan, uh, you can ask during the explanation lah. Okay, so apa pun, jom kita begin. Okay, so please smoke okay. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Okay, jom kita mula. Okay, so soalan. Morning, sir. Oh, oh morning. Hello. <laughs> dah, dah ter. Wah, okay, Ifa. Okay, alamak, my Sarah. Okay, baru. Okay, okay, dah buat. Okay, so now we can finally begin lah. Okay, so uh, we only left with the first final, first seven lah. Okay, question. Uh, selepas habis ni, officially kita dah habis lah. Okay, so the gravitation, uh, start question first. The gravitation acceleration of the earth is given by the equation AG. Alamak, tiba tu. Pen merah pula. Padam. So, kita ada equation kita AG sama dengan GM over R square. Where M and R is the mass and radius of the earth respectively. Okay, so determine the dimension uh, constant G. Okay, kejap. Uh, saya rasa macam Okay, uh, off camera saya juga. Okay, fokus korang. Okay, so uh, determine the dimension cost, uh, constant of G. So, you rearrange this back, you're going to put G sama dengan AG R square over M. Okay, so then what you do. Okay, ingat bila kita nak buat dimension, barulah kita start buat dalam kotak. Okay, kotak-kotak. Okay, always remember inside the dimension analysis, tiga je equation yang penting. Mass, okay, tiga je dimension yang penting adalah M. Length adalah L. Time adalah T. Okay, so these are the three main components yang dalam dimension analysis will always ask you. Sebenarnya ada banyak lagi, okay. Uh, if you see dalam buku tutorial, you have like Kelvin, okay, temperature. Temperature you buat dalam K, things like that. Itu pun korang kena tahu. However, the main part is the three main things here. Okay, please bear in mind lah, okay, the, the, um, the dimension here. So, Selepas korang dapat tahu ni, korang kena buat individually lah. Okay, acceleration is ms negative 2 kan? Which is length times dia punya uh, dia punya time negative 2. So, L, T, negative 2. Then, R square ni is length square. Selepas tu, mass is the M. So, if you bawakan M you ke atas, you darabkan sekali, you akan dapat here the final answer of L cube, 3 negative 2, M. Okay, nak buat dalam ni pun boleh, tak ada beza. Okay. So, if you get here, jawapannya betul lah L cube T negative 2 M M. Okay. So, pemakahan dia macam mana? You get here, jawapan 1 Gantian 1 Okay. 2 marks Okay, remember, I always rem uh, ingat korang uh, Dalam ni, you only have 9.2 minutes per question Okay, siapa tu? Korang tanya Oh, so, ah, can yeah, I ask a lah. question? Yeah, yeah, sure lah Sh Shouldn't it be M negative 1? Saya ada salah tulis tadi. It should be M negative 1. Yes. Nice. Nice mata alok. Okay. Negative 1. Ni atas. Betul-betul-betul. Saya tadi tak naik ke atas. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay. So, oh, and sir. Do yeah. we put the the 3, the negative 2, the negative 1 inside the kotak atau outside the kotak? Uh, I don't think there should be that much difference. Like put it dalam kotak or luar kotak. But if saya, I put it in basically dalam kotak lah. Dalam kotak. But let oh, me okay. Thank you, sir. Untuk confirmation lah. Saya ni mungkin cakap sekali. Okay, uh, dalam kotak lah. Should be okay. Dalam kotak, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay, so again, dua markah. Uh, 9.2, uh, dan point, okay. okay. Itu first. Then you have 9.2 minutes per question tau. So you have 9.2 minutes per question. Question 1 ni, you should only take around 30 seconds to do. And, uh, list of equation. Harap korang dah buat ni ya. Korang dah divide ni. Okay, kalau tak buat, tolong buat. You divide this into chapter 1. Uh, this chapter 2. Tapi kena ingat, for the dot and cross product, you don't need to know sebab the dot and cross product is actually tested on you punya UPS. Okay, so dalam PSPM, I'm sure they won't ask you again about the dot and cross product. So, focus more dalam dimension analysis. Okay, focus more on the dimension lah. Contohnya, acceleration, dia punya dimension berapa? Dia punya, uh, what you call, uh, dia punya mass dimension berapa. So, you need to know these three main things lah. Okay, three main things there. Okay. So, gantian satu, jawapan satu would yield you dua markah. Okay. First question, settle. Second question, okay. Nampak sangat you kena guna suvet tau. Dalam ni, dalam ayat pun kata. So, initial speed u sama dengan 30 meters per second. Uh, decelerates a sama dengan negative 3.5 meters per second. So, time dia sama dengan 4.5 second. To reach the boat. Calculate the speed of the boat at the boat. So, ingat, for you to use the suvet, 
apa saya kata you kena ada tiga quantity untuk guna Suvet equation kita. Okay, so ini dah ada tiga you can use Suvet. Tapi kalau dia only give you dua quantity, usually the one quantity, one quantity, okay, is hidden. Okay, contohnya macam dia kata a stone is drop. Okay, so kita tak nampak apa-apa. There's no value stone drop situ. Tapi you know when the stone is drop, dia punya initial sama dengan kosong. So ingat, to use any Suvet equation, you must have tiga quantity. So menggunakan V equals to U plus AT. Sebab kita nak cari speed kan. So masukkanlah. So here is 30 tolak 3.5 times 4.5. So from here you can get you punya uh, initial speed, eh, final speed yang bersama dengan 14.25 meters per second. Okay. Settle. So pemakaian dia macam mana? Again you get here jawapan unit 1. Gantian 1. 2 marks. Settle. Okay. Alright. You shouldn't spend much time pada dia punya anak-anak tau. Remember again 9.2 minit je per question. Okay, now I think main part yang banyak tak dapat is in question projectile lah. Okay, so dalam projectile ni, there's three marks for concept. Okay, three conceptual marks. Okay, so uh, focus sikit lah on here. So again, when doing the question, you labuhkan anything you have learned up until now, you labuhkan dalam you punya question. You tulis je apa-apa. So in this case, kena tahu inside projectile, AX will be equal to zero, AY will be equal to negative G. Okay, so these are the main things yang korang kena tahu dalam projectile. Okay, dalam projectile. Then soalan minta, figure 1 shows a stream of water hitting the wall at a height of 8 meter. So, S, or SY sama dengan 8 meter. Okay, with the velocity, so this is V tau, bukan initial. So, it's important to you to differentiate which is the final velocity, which is the initial velocity. So, from here, the velocity here is 40 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees. So, maksud dia apa? Kat sini, okay, kat sini saya zoom kan, is actually... So, so, V sama dengan 40 ms, negative 1. So, this is 35. Alamak, 35. So, that's the angle 35 degree. Okay, 40 degree there. So, 35 degree is over there. Okay, so, determine the initial velocity of the water as it leaves. So, sekarang ni soalan minta ni lah. Soalan minta ni, U. So, very important to know that U here is a combination of Ux square plus Uy square square root. Okay, so the question here now is how do we determine our ux and how do we determine our u y? Okay, so important part. This plays into part. So, markah konsep korang datang selepas ni which is daripada ax equal to 0, korang kena tahu vx equal to ux plus uh, basically uh, v equal to u plus a t kan, ha, a x t. Tapi sebab ax equal to 0, the markah konsep comes here, vx equal to u X. Dapat K1 here If you write that down Okay If you tak tulis You tak dapat markah konsep So tulis saja apa-apa yang korang rasa penting So UX sama dengan VX Sama dengan V Cos Theta Okay So the V here should be referring to 40 Cos 12, uh, 35 So if you do here 40 cos 35 You'll get the answer of You punya UX sama dengan 32.5 Seven seven meters per second. So the second markah concept comes from this equation here, k 1 Simple je, but you'll get two marks. Okay. So here kita dah dapat ux. Sekarang how do you get uy? Okay, uy ni kita tak boleh guna any normal concept sebab kita tahu ay kita sama dengan negative g. So pen biru kita. So vy square equal to uy square minus two g s Why? Kenapa saya guna ni? Sebab we do not have time. Okay? Kita tak ada component time. So, I use this equation. I rearrange. I can dapat uy equal to vy square plus 2gsy square rooted. Okay? So, when you do here, okay, you boleh cari vy. Eh, uy. Uh, g kita ada, sy kita ada. Kita ada tak vy? Kita ada. So, referring here, actually kita ada vy here. Okay, so to find Vy, hopefully korang tahu, saya dah ajar, v, Vy here is equal to V sin theta, negative. Kenapa negative? It's moving downwards. Okay, so it is negative berapa? 40 sin 35. Okay, so you'll get here, uh, negative 40 sin 35, you'll get the answer of negative 22.94 meters per second. So, by doing that, Okay, you can actually multiply masuk ke dalam kita punya UI. So, UI kita is actually square root of 
negative 22.94 square plus 2, 9.81, SY kita adalah berapa? Adalah 8. Okay, so if you multiply and masukkan here together, you'll get here square root of 683.34, which you get 26.14 meters per second as our U, Y. So, you masukkan uh, you punya A, uh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, betul, betul. Ah, yeah, you dapat ni lah. Okay, UI here. So, you masukkan dalam you punya U. So, U, U sekarang ni is equal to square root of 32.77 square plus which our negative, uh, our uh, 26.14 square. So, if you do this, you'll get the answer of 41.92 meters per second. Okay? Kita dapat lah kita punya initial velocity. Okay, habis kat sini ke kita punya uh, soal, uh, kita punya jawapan? Do we end it here? Rasanya dapat berapa bangka? No. No? Kenapa Alok? Kenapa no? Oh, we have to find the initial velocity. Eh? So, have to combine. No, I already combine here. Betul ke? I am, yes. Yeah. So, dah ke habis? Sorry. Ini? So, here I already determine the initial velocity. So, dapat tak saya 8 markah? Dapat kot. Kot. Come on. This is a trick question lah. Sebenarnya korang tak dapat 8 markah. Kenapa tak dapat 8 markah? Boleh nampak tak apa yang kurang kat sini? If you do here, korang dapat 6 markah je. Boleh nampak tak apa yang kurang sini? Boleh. Nak saya bagi hint? Eh, mana saya punya? Okay. Nak saya bagi hint? Uh, ya. Yeah. Apa ni? Angle. Yeah. The diagram. So, you have here you punya magnitude sahaja. Magnitude and direction lah. Tapi kalau you tak tulis angle bermaksud kita punya U here is over here. Tak ada angle langsung. Okay. So you need to find the angle here. If you stop sampai sini saja, marks yang you akan dapat is actually 6 markah. Okay. 6 markah. So macam mana markah dia again. Uh, you have here jawapan unit 1. Gantian 1. Again this is concept 1. So 1, 2, 3 concept, 5. Here is jawapan unit satu. So, you get only 6 marks here. Tapi nampak tak kita punya total is 8 marks. So, you kena tulis, cari dia punya angle. So, angle macam nak cari tangent theta equal to ui per ux. So, theta will be equal to tangent negative 1. Kita punya ui kita berapa? Ui kita tadi adalah 26.14 divided by 32.77. Okay. So, kita akan dapat kita punya angle yang sama dengan 38.5 8 degree. Okay, barulah korang dapat the full 8 marks. If you don't do here, okay, if you don't do here, you tak dapatlah the full marks of 8. Berhati-hati on these types of question. Okay. Okay, so that's question 2. Now, for question 3 pula. Okay, question 3 pula. I think semua okay kot, but let's do it together lah. Okay, question 3. Okay, question 3. So, dia kata sini, uh, floor at mass of 3, uh, 0 0.06 kilograms per second. Okay, korang jangan pula terkejut. Alamak, apa benda ni? Mass rate ni, sir. I mean, tak ajar mass rate. Okay, mass rate ni bermaksud mass per unit. Right. Okay, M per T lah. Okay, and velocity of 15 meters per second. So, this is you punya U. Put vertically into a bowl. If the floor comes to a rest, so this is you punya V sama dengan kosong. Calculate the average force exerted by the floor on the bowl. So here, you boleh gunakan konsep yang penting sini sebab kita nak M over T. Okay, if you want impulse sama dengan F delta T, here kan, F delta T, uh, you buat ni, kita ada force. Okay, tapi kita tak tahu, kita tak ada impulse. So inside this question, you need to use the impulse momentum theorem. I, P, theorem. Impulse momentum. So J sama dengan M, V. Minus mu. So, this is the impulse equals to the change in momentum. So, mv minus mu equals to f delta t. Uh, factorizing out the m, you dapat v minus u of f delta t. So, f kita sama dengan m over delta t per v minus u. f over delta t ni is actually the same as m over t. So, it's actually 0 0.06 kurungan our velocity v is uh, 0 tolak 15 okay. So from here You get you punya mass uh, You get you punya force Sama dengan uh, Actually you akan dapat negative uh, Negative Negative 0 0.9 newton okay. Negative 0 0.9 newton as you punya Force okay. So from here Pemakahan dia is JU1 
gantian satu and also concept satu. Okay, conceptual one. Wow. Okay, tak apa-apa. Okay. Everyone okay tak ni? Ada part yang tak okay tak? Semua okay? Setakat ni lah. Tu lah dia nak. Oh, tanya. okay sir. Okay, previous question pun semua okay lah? Yes sir. Okay, remember if you have any question, please raise uh, the hand button lah. Okay, so you get question tiga. Tiga markah. Okay. So, now question B. Okay, question B ni sebenarnya ada kesilapan sikit kepada angle dia. Angle dia is actually 14.12. Okay, 14.112. Dia punya angle lah, bukan 30 lah. There's a bit of mistake here. Okay, so, doing here, uh, a 0.52 kilogram ball, P, moves at 0.69, collides with the stationary ball Q. Okay, first things first, when you do this question, tengok diagram dia macam mana. Nampak tak diagram here? If you ambil X component here, X component here and here, it's positive towards the, positive towards the uh, right. Okay, selepas tu you nampak ni dua dimension So you kena tahu ni ada Px Ini ada Eh, dia ada Px, ni ada Py Ini ada Qy, ini pun ada Qx So please be careful on which angle you nak pilih And which component you nak Kalau you ambil Y component, nampak tak Y component Q ni ke bawah So dia negative So please be very careful Okay, so uh, Exporting any information given So kita ada MP sama dengan 0.52 MQ kita, kita tak tahu berapa Lepas tu kita ada UP sama dengan 0.69 Glides with the stationary ball Q So, UQ sama dengan kosong So, after the collision, the velocity of ball P and Q are VP sama dengan 0.3 VQ sama dengan 0.45 Respectively as shown So, determine the mass of ball Q So, ini penting sebab sekarang ni kita uh, Doing in two dimension kan Okay, dua dimension. So, dalam dua dimension, you kena pilih, uh, you nak buat X component ke Y component. So, doing what X component saja, doing X component, okay. Kena tengok kalau X component pula, you boleh buat lah, uh, you punya what I call conservation of momentum, okay. So, P final, uh, X. so P initial X equal to P final X. If you buat Y, initial U adalah kosong lah sebab there's no uh, collision in the Y. Tapi, I nak ambil X dalam ni. So, ada collision dalam X. So, MPUP plus MQUQ will be equal to MPVP plus MQUQ. Okay, so ingat benda ni kosong kan. So, initial untuk Q kosong. So, you boleh potong ni. You ada MPUP equal to MPVP plus MQUQ. Okay. Dan kena ingat, tengok juga nampak tak velocity here. So, the velocity here ada komponen. So, VP here is actually equal to V cos 20 degrees. Sebab saya nak tengok dalam X saja. So, VQ is equal to V cos 14.12. Okay. So, by doing this equation, saya akan dapat here 0.52. Okay. Uh, U kita sama dengan 0.69. Okay. Equal to kita punya mass which is 0.52. Okay. VP kita berapa which is... Uh, 0.3 cos 20 degree. Okay. Plus dengan MQ kita berapa? MQ kita sini adalah nak cari. Lepas tu kita punya VQ adalah 0.45 cos 14.1. So by doing uh, you punya, you do lah calculation you kat sini. So you can dapat MQ sama dengan 0.49 kilogram. Okay, 0.49 kilogram. So pemakaian here should be Jawapan unit 1, gantian 1 and also uh, here konsep 1. Okay, konsep 1 dah. Aduh, sakit dah tangan. Okay, konsep 1. Right? So, set, uh, bukan konsep 1 is not here. Konsep 1 bila you ada kos-kos semua. -kos Sekejap. Uh, ni gantian konsep 2. Ambil kau. So, Uh, for you to get the concept mark Dia mestilah yang menunjukkan you guna yang cost tu Kalau you ada Masuk-masuk uh, sini just using the normal equation uh, You won't get any concept marks there lah So this is gantian dan konsep dua markah Okay So you get dapat tiga markah there So settle on you punya question B Tiga Okay Go, uh, go for our question number four okay, Question number four pula A man drags a 23 kilogram suitcase with the 45 newton force at a constant speed. So, bila constant speed, A sama dengan kosong. Okay, so mass kita sama dengan 23 kilogram. F kita, the force now is 45 
newton. So the frictional force on the suitcase F kecil kita sama dengan 18 newton. So with the help of a free body diagram, calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction, uh, coefficient of kinetic friction between the suitcase and the floor. So so let me talk new. So again, uh, so, so let me talk with the help of a free body diagram. Kan? You must draw you punya F B T. So you punya free body diagram here. Okay, you can up draw here. Sepatutnya you ada apa dah? You ada force there. You ada what? You ada weight bawah. You ada again normal atas. You ada friction over there. If you betul ni, you get the marks of D2. D2. If you tak betul, katakanlah, ah lah sir, saya nampak ni macam tali lah sir. So, saya buat sini uh, T lah. Okay. If you buat T, you salah, you dapat D1. Asalkan yang penting, you draw. Tapi kalau drawing you banyak salah, you won't get any marks for that lah. So, dah D2. Settle. So now the question minta mu. I can find mu from F sama dengan mu N. So mu I equal to F over N. I ada F tapi I tak ada N. So you kena cari you punya N. And you dekat mana? In the Y axis. So sebab dekat Y axis kita ada submission of Fy sama dengan kosong. So kita punya submission of Fy here is normal tambah dengan F sin theta. Okay, here. Yeah. Ada angle theta here. Tolak weight sama dengan kosong. So, our normal here should be equal to air, uh, weight tolak F sin theta which is equal to mg tolak F sin theta. So, m kita ada, g kita ada, f kita ada, theta kita tak ada. So, how do we find theta here? Okay, so theta here you can find from actually using the submission of Fx sama dengan kosong. So, ingat when you're doing this question, Uh, satu komponen tak ada, you refer back to the other component. So, Fx sama dengan kosong, so you dapat F cos theta tolak friction sama dengan kosong. So, cos theta sama dengan friction divided by external force. So, theta sama dengan shift cos of friction over external force. So, you dapat theta here is actually 66. Uh, you dapat here 66.42 degree. 6.42 degree. So, bila you dapat here 6.42 degree, you barulah boleh masukkan you punya theta towards the equation here. So, normal here kita akan dapat M kita which is equal to uh, 23 9.81 tolak 45 sin 6.42 So, doing here you get you punya normal force sama dengan 184.39 Newton. When you dapat here, barulah you masukkan ke dalam you punya equation here. So, mu kita akan sama dengan uh, 18 divided by 184.39. So, kita akan dapat here mu kita sama dengan 0.0976 or 0.1. So, ayat kita punya mu. So, pemakahan dia macam ni kita dah dapat dah dua makah daripada drawing kita tadi. So, jawapan unit 1. Unit 1. Ni you kena gantikan lah. Kalau you gantikan, you dapat gantian 1. Gantian 1. So, this is jawapan 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 marks for our question number 4. Okay, hopefully semua okay on that. Bit simple lah. Okay, tapi starting here, sebenarnya dalam starting first 7 question here, the main part is you need to draw. Okay, you see here drawing, sini pun ada dia punya diagram. Okay, banyak dalam ni you kena draw lah as you punya initial here. So, please draw. Jangan tak draw. Okay. So, now for our question number 5. So, as you can see, number 5 kita, uh, figure 4 shows a 15kg block being pulled by a 100N force at an initial speed of 2 meters per second up an inclined plate. So, mass sama dengan 15kg. Force kita sama dengan 100N, initial speed U sama dengan 2 meters per second. Okay. Um, the coefficient of kinetic friction mu kita sama dengan 0.14 by using the work energy theorem. Calculate the change in the kinetic energy of the block. Okay, saya nak korang tahu. Ha? Ha, dalam korang punya list of constant, tak ada work energy theorem tau. Saya tak lah saya punya ni masalah ke korang punya pun masalah. But there's no work energy theorem here. Okay, there's no work energy theorem. Uh, so, korang kena actually tahulah pasal work energy theorem ni. Work energy theorem is work total sama dengan delta. Okay. So, ini korang kena hafal lah. Hafal atau faham lah. <coughs> you punya change in kinetic energy <coughs> ke you ikut kepada you punya work total. So, from here, you kena tahu lah uh, change in kinetic energy equal to work total. 
So to find the work total You kena draw you punya free body diagram So free body diagram kita macam mana FBD So free body diagram kita Kita ada normal there We have weight there We have an angle theta there We have the external force there Kita ada friction over here So ingat Sebab kita sekarang ni work total Work is FS So ada berapa banyak force dalam ni Ada satu Dua Tiga Ada empat There's four forces here So since there's four forces there You kena divide dah into Work External force Tambah work Frictional force Tambah work Of uh, Gravity G Ni lah Ni work gravity lah Okay Plus the work of normal Okay So there's four types of work here Dan korang kena tahu The work normal here Will be equal to zero Sebab displacement kita over here Nampak tak ada 90 degree Ini originally is Fs cos theta kan So there's 90 degree here So work normal is zero So ada tiga amount of work je korang kena tahu Work external Work friction And work gravity So let's do it one by one Okay uh, Lepas tu kena tahu juga Ah uh, Ini is negative Sebab kita punya friction is over here Okay And kita punya displacement is over to the right Ini pun negative Sebab as you can see here Work G kita ni is actually here tau WG sin theta Okay so Ni negative ni negative Sebab it is in opposite direction Towards kita punya displacement Okay so let's find it one by one So kita cari work F dulu Work F is basically F S lah Kita punya force is here Displacement pun is also here So F kita adalah 100 Displacement S kita is actually berapa? 6.2 Okay So if you do here You akan dapat 620 uh, 620 Newton lah Okay saya Saya tak lah Newton lah Saya tak bawa calculator saya So you calculate lah You dapat berapa here Okay Per joule Per joule lah So tu calculate tu work F Settle Now work friction Work friction would be equal to F S Ni ada negatif lah F S lah Tapi kena ingat F kita F kita adalah mu n s Tapi kita tak ada normal So bila tak ada normal You focus on you punya y axis Y axis you adalah Submission of F y sama dengan kosong So normal tolak dengan Mg cos theta Will be equal to zero So normal kita is actually Mg cos theta Mana datangnya Mg cos theta It's over here Mg cos theta Okay So from here you akan dapat Work friction you sama dengan mu Okay Negatif mu mg cos theta s Okay So itu kita punya work friction Now work of gravity Simple je is actually uh, Mg sin theta Darab dengan s Okay which you will have here Is actually kita punya uh, 15 9.81 sin 25 Darab dengan kita punya displacement which is 6.5 Okay, so we masukkan all three components dalam ni So delta KU Okay, delta KU akan dapat akan jadi Okay, delta K akan jadi uh, What do you call 100 100 6.2 Okay, tolak dengan work friction which is Mu kita adalah 0.14 M kita adalah 15 K15, G kita adalah 9.81 Okay, cos 25 6.2, kita punya displacement S Okay, tolak juga dengan Inilah, 15 9.81 Sin 25, 6.2 So, you'll get you punya delta K here Sama dengan Okay, 111.67 Joule Okay, as you punya change in kinetic energy 111.67 as our delta K So uh, Ni memang dapat uh, What we call tujuh markah here lah Okay So um, The tujuh markah there Actually stems on uh, Apa yang korang guna lah So So here uh, This is jawapan unit satu At each one of this You kira lah You akan dapat jawapan unit satu uh, You kira here You akan dapat jawapan unit satu So this is gantian satu Gantian satu and also you calculate here Dia akan dapat jawapan unit 1 And also gantian 1 So ni 6, 7 uh, So constantly dapat 7 here dah. So dapat 7 Okay for our question number 5A Okay so this took around Banyak masa jugalah untuk buat Okay but still you should 
uh, catukan masa you accordingly lah. Ya. Catu masa you accordingly. So that's for question number uh, 5A. Now, question number 5B. Okay, 130 kilogram of motorcycle accelerates uniformly from rest to 25 meters per second in 5 seconds. So this is the first sentence. Calculate the instantaneous power of the motorcycle at time t sama dengan 3 seconds. So, power instantaneous sama dengan apa? So, you refer back kepada you punya equation here. Power instantaneous you sama dengan P sama dengan F V. Okay. So, uh, you buat sini lah. P instantaneous you sama dengan F V. Okay. So, kena tahu juga V ni berapa? V instantaneous at time T sama dengan 3 second. Ni pun adalah T sama dengan 3 second. So, you kena cari velocity sama dengan 3 second. Okay, you tak boleh guna velocity ni. Ini adalah dalam 5 second. So, you kena buat velocity dalam 3 second. So, VT sama dengan 3 second equals to U plus AT. So, kita U kita adalah kosong. Tapi, kita tak ada A. Time kita adalah 3 second. So, how do you find the A? From the first sentence. Sebab dia accelerate uniformly. So, acceleration U akan sama throughout the journey. So, acceleration U is V minus U over T. So, V saya is 25 tolak kosong per time kita is 5 second. So, it is actually 5 ms negative 2. Okay. So, kita punya V T sama dengan 3 is equal to kosong plus 5 darab dengan 3. So, we'll get here is 15 meters per second. So, expanding this initial equation menjadi MA V 3 equal to 3. So, you masukkanlah all the necessary information here. Acceleration sama dengan 5, 15. So, you'll get here actually 9,000 uh, watts for 9 kilowatt. Okay, 9 kilowatt. As you punya question, we settle for our question number 5. Okay, macam ni dia punya marking here. Okay, jawapan unit 1. Gantian 1. Jawapan unit 1. Okay, 3 markah. Okay, uh, tak ada question lah setakat ni For up until question number 5 itu Semua okay? Okay, sir. okay, sir Okay, kan memang lah okay saya je buat <laughs> Okay, so uh, Kita masukkan ke dalam question number 6 kita Okay, question number 6 ni sebenarnya ada A bit wrong lah Ni bukan 1.5 tau This is actually 4 meters per second Okay, tension sebenarnya tension you should not be negative. Tapi if you got negative tension, maksudnya apa? Negative tension tu bermaksud tali you kena compress. Okay, tali you compress. However, kena tahu dalam yang kita belajar dalam college physics, tali kita will always be tegang. Bila tali tegang, kita punya tension should be always positive. Okay, so if you masuk 1.5 here, actually you akan dapat negative tension tau. Okay, negative tension tu tak masuk salah but dia bermaksudkan bahawa tension kita kena compress. Tapi dalam college physics, tension you tak patut ada negatif. Faham? Okay. Oh, no wonder. Okay, okay. So, okay. Thank you. Welcome. So, dalam ni, uh, you tulis lah. Uh, any information mass you adalah 16 gram. Ataupun, which is here, 0 0.016 kilogram. Then, you ada length you yang sama dengan uh, 0 0.5 meter. So, soalan minta calculate the minimum tension. So, again, you should draw lah. Nak tengok mana satu maximum you, mana satu minimum you. So, you draw here. And you draw here. So, they are moving in a circle, kan? So, I have already explained. Minimum tension is at the top. Maximum tension is at the bottom. Okay, harap semua tahulah kenapa minimum tension at the top. Semua tahu ke kenapa minimum tension at the top? Ya, yeah, tahu. Tahu. Ada siapa tak tahu? Ni peluang you untuk cakap kalau tak tahu. Tak ada siapa cakap ah, So, semua tahu ah kenapa minimum tension kat atas. Okay. Kalau semua tahu kenapa minimum tension kat atas, you have tension here and also weight over there. Okay. So, uh, doing the minimum tension submission of FC sama dengan MAC which is equal to MV square over R. You tengok total force you ada apa? You ada tension tambah dengan weight sama dengan MV square over R which this is your tension minimum lah. So, uh, tension minimum U is equal to MV square over R tolak MG. So, substituting all the important information here. 4. Eh, 4 lah. This is 4 lah. Okay, 4 square. Okay, kita punya, uh, kita punya length here is actually kita punya radius. Okay, so this is 0.5. Okay. Tolak dengan 
m kita again m kita adalah 0.016 g kita adalah 9.81 ok so if you do here you akan dapat you get t minimum yang sama dengan 0.356 newton for our question 6e ok now for question 6b the speed of the ball when string breaks so when string breaks maksudnya apa you punya tension sama dengan kosong so using back uh, this equation tapi t min equal to 0 so you akan dapat w sama dengan mv square over r w akan sama dengan mg sama dengan mv square over r so mv potong you akan dapat g equal to v square over r so v sama dengan gr square root ok so square root of g kita is 9.81 r kita adalah 0.5 so from here you dapat you punya velocity yang sama dengan 2.21 meters per second so pemakaian dia is very straightforward lah ok jawapan unit 1 gantian 1 jawapan unit 1 gantian 1 ok konsep 1 ok so that's for our question 6 ok so onwards towards our final question which is question number 7 ok tak banyak pun actually masa ok Uh, nampak tak? Uh, actually, I've already spent dalam almost 45 minutes to do 7 question lah. Okay? Tapi itu saya. Korang nanti mungkin take around 1 hour and lebih hebat. Remember? Sepatutnya korang uh, dah catukan bahawa the first 7 atau first 8 question tu, you should buat dalam masa sejam. Okay? Ataupun 50 minutes at most lah. Okay? 50 minutes atau sejam at most. Kalau boleh. Okay? Sebab nanti the remaining question you can use for the second part of the question question 9 sampai question uh, 14 and uh, question 13 and also uh, korang boleh double check ok so you can use the remaining time there lah ok so uh, continuing on pada question 7 so 120 kilogram satellite is orbiting the earth at an altitude of 190 kilometers ok the radius and mass of the earth is given so soalan minta calculate the gravitational potential energy of the satellite so soalan A GPE So, how do you find the gravitational potential energy? You refer back pada you punya formula. GPE kita adalah this equation. Okay. So, GPE kita adalah negative G M besar M kecil over R. Okay. So, you have negative here G M besar M kecil over R. Okay. What's the R here? Apa maksud R kita kat sini? Saya sempat nak cuba tak masuk R kat situ? Uh, the distance between the two centers of the objects. Yeah, betul lah lah. So, from the center of the earth kepada center of the satellite. Okay. There. Okay. So, kena ingat. From the satellite towards the surface of the earth is H. From the center of the earth towards the surface is R besar. So, you punya R kecil is actually a combination of R plus H. So, here, R kita adalah 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 plus dengan kita punya height which is 1.9 1.190 times 10 to the power of 3 meter. So if you add them together, you'll get the height of the what you call height of the satellite from one center towards the other sama dengan 6.59 times 10 to the power of 6 meter. So this is your punya R. Yeah. So masukkan all of the relevant information here negative 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. Mass of the Earth which is uh, 5.98 times 10 to the power of 24. Dan juga mass of the satellite which is 120 divided by 6.59 times 10 to the power of 6. You get here, you punya gravitational potential energy which is equal to negative uh, 7.26 times 10 to the power of 9 joule. Okay, as our gravitational potential energy. Okay. So, pemakaian is rather straightforward here again. So, here dapat jawapan unit 1. Gantian 1, jawapan unit 1. Okay. So, Settle on that, then you can do question B. Okay, the period of the satellite. So, period of the satellite is actually T lah. Okay, but which T do you use? Be very careful lah. Sebab sini ada T. Bawah sini pun ada T. Ha, bawah situ for chapter lain lah. Please be very careful lah. So, this is chapter 7 lah. So, you use this this equation. Okay, the equation there. So, T sama dengan 2 pi square root of R cube over G. Okay, so substituting all of the <coughs> relevant uh, quantity, so R kita is 6.59 times 10 to the power of 6 cube. 
over dengan kita punya G 6.67 times 10 to the power negative uh, negative 11 M kita will always be mass of the earth Okay, remember tau Ada certain equation je yang gunakan balik Mass of uh, the second object Usually macam force uh, Gravitational potential energy Okay I think even you punya Ini pun you guna mass of the earth AG So, only two parts je yang you guna mass of the satellite So, dalam ni you use black mass of the earth ha? You jangan balik guna mass of the satellite Tu salah Okay So, from here You dapatlah You punya T period yang sama dengan 5322.24 second. Okay, so that's for you punya satellite. Okay, period of the satellite. So, pemakaian here again is straightforward. This is jawapan unit 1, this is gantian 1. Okay. So, question yang nanti ramai perangkap is ni lah, change in the speed of the satellite for it to break free from the orbit. Okay, so, uh, you can tengok balik you punya earth. Question C either. Kita ada earth. And also kita ada kita punya satellite which is orbiting the earth. Okay, satellite here. Satellite. Okay, so uh, kena tahu. So, so objek tu tak break lagi daripada earth punya circle selagi dia punya V escape dia lagi besar daripada V satellite. Okay, so soalan sekarang ni minta change in speed of the satellite for it to break free from the orbit. So, kita change in speed is delta V sama dengan V2 minus V1. Apakah V2 and V1 here? So, sebab satellite kita tak break free lagi daripada <coughs> Earth kita, kita punya V2 ni is actually V escape. Kita punya V1 ni is actually V satellite. So, you need to find the individual component of the escape velocity and also the satellite speed to get the change in velocity. So, here, V escape sama dengan Macam mana? You see back your equation here. V escape you ni je. Okay. Please be very careful lah. R ni, you, you mungkin ingat R ni is radius of the earth. Tapi sekarang ni kita buat objek tu is actually above the radius of the earth tau. So, R kita is actually R kecil. Sebab dia bukan on the surface. Dia sekarang ni atas earth. Okay. So, kita buat V escape kita is actually uh, square root of 2GM over R kecil. Bukan R besar. Sebab sekarang ni kita nak buat it's on the surface of the earth. Okay. So, square root of 2. G kita which is 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11. Mass kita adalah mass of the earth which is actually 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 divided by the radius of the earth which is 6.59 times 10 to the power of 6. So, by doing here Korang akan dapatlah the V escape yang sama dengan 11370.83 meters per second. <coughs> Dapat satu komponen. Tak habis lagi. You need to use the other component which is the V satellite. The V satellite is actually, you see kepada korang punya equation here. Korang akan dapat, ialah V of the satellite, speed of the satellite. Okay? So, uh, V of the satellite is actually square root of GM over R. So, square root of 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11. Mass kita adalah 5.98 times 10 to the power of 20, uh, 24. Ini empat juga. Okay. Per dengan kita punya R which is 6.59 times 10 to the power of 6. So, you akan dapat here. It's actually, uh, you divide here je sebab ni ada dua, ni tak ada dua kan. So, you akan dapat here 7779.84 meters per second. So, to find the change in speed required for it to break orbit adalah 113.70.83. Tolak dengan 7779.84. So, you get the answer of 3.509.16 meters per second. Kalau korang tak dapat exactly as this, tak apa. Again, benda ni ada range. So, you do not need to worry. Okay. So, get here jawapan unit 1, jawapan unit 1, you get jawapan unit 1. Okay. Jawapan unit 1. So, dapatlah 3 markah for our question C. Huh, habis. Kawan, kita punya submission. Ah, 45 minit je. Oh, cepat tak? Okay. So, that is all you need to know for you punya PSPM of set pertama. Okay. So, Eh, jap. Oh, ada orang tanya yang ni. Oh, Bakis tu. Oh, apalah kau ni Bakis cakap je lah. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So, again, any more question tak yang nak tanya? Sebelum kita, uh, betul lah. Kita habis. Ada. 
Are you? Uh, so far, so good. Ah, so good, huh? Okay, yeah, officially, kita dah habis lah. Sebenarnya kita dah habis minggu lepas lah. Seminggu ni dah start lah. Korang punya study week, okay? So, I wish you all the best, okay? For you punya final exam nanti. Okay? Jangan lupa, uh, berdoa lah sebelum you do the exam. Tak kisahlah korang agama apa ke apa, doa je. And when doing the exam, keep a calm mind lah. Calm mind and be focused lah. Okay? So, korang sendiri pun dah tahu hasil usaha korang sampai mana. Saya tak tahu sebab saya tak ada bersama dengan korang macam mana Okay So hopefully uh, Bukan hopefully, I know you you can do it lah You can do it. you can get the A dalam physics, don't worry Okay, just uh, trust yourself lah Trust yourself and do the best Okay So it's been a pleasure mengajar korang dalam semester pertama Okay um, Kalau saya ada salah silap ke apa Okay, minta maaf Okay So it's quite a bit hard sebab As our final class pun We are still not uh, Not together ke apa But never mind Okay, so um, again, I'll see you guys when I see you guys lah. Okay, mungkin semester kedua, I won't teach you. I don't know. Okay, mungkin you get a lecture yang um, yang lain ke apa. I also don't know but depends lah nanti macam mana. But it's been quite a uh, honor lah mengajar korang. Okay, so I uh, wish you guys the best of luck. Terima kasih. So, uh, tengok lah kalau kita berjumpa lagi dalam next semester. Okay. Okay korang, uh, saya habiskan dengan uh, Habiskan dengan Selamat Maju Jaya And see you when I see you Okay Thank you sir Welcome Thank you sir Thank you sir Thank you sir Terima kasih saya Tarik people fizik Tahu saya saya tunjuk kot Tak pasti nanti Nanti dia akan bagi lah kot Jadual exam Kalau tak bagi nanti saya share kan Exam berapa Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, are you going to share the answers for the mock week yes. 15 and mock week uh, uh, 16? Yes, nanti saya akan uploadkan dalam GC. Yeah? Okay, thank you so much, sir, yeah. for everything. Welcome. Bye-bye.